Hi everyone, uh, good evening or good afternoon wherever you are. I'm Dr. Parthen Andy and I'm talking about an important topic which is uh, superbugs and what superbugs do and and you know really create havoc around so people who have uh, experienced that know that what happens is that you don't have the, the normal treatment of antibiotics. So talking about a, a superbug uh, super that's around now that is is even failing our last resort antibiotics. And so talking about what we can do and what it's all about, uh, thank you for joining us today wherever you are. Let us know where you're uh, joining us from and, and if you have any questions, obviously. So, um, you know, the, the whole idea behind superbugs, right? What, how do we get superbugs? We get them because we are obviously using them willy-nilly. If you get a viral infection, people are going to their doctors and saying, you know, I... I want to get antibiotics and convince the doctors or their practitioners that they need these antibiotics. And we as practitioners were to blame because we're, we are dishing this stuff out left and right. People are not finishing their antibiotics, taking somebody else's antibiotics, assuming it's the same. So really, really, what's what, what can we do? And I want to talk about this particular superbug. So what's happened is that we, we now know that this there's a new superbug gene that's uh, that's there and it's it's resistant to our last resort antibiotics and it's called the MCR9 gene and it's been identified we call it what a name huh called the jumping gene so the jumping gene what what does that mean right what does it mean jumping gene it so here's the thing real concern because antibiotic resistance can lead to devastating consequences the jumping gene in this in this instance is a piece of bacteria that can move around from one bacterial cell to another and this movement means that the bacteria can really change strength and its ability to fight antibiotics if you're going from one to the other and making antibiotics really in, in some cases ineffective so what we now know is that colistin, colistin, C-O-L-I-S-T-I-N, one of our last resort antibiotics, and and it looks like it it, it may not even it may not even work on uh, on this in this superbug with with the gene that's there. So, uh, you know, the MCR nine has shown resistance to this colistin. So it sounds pretty scary. So what 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 do we know about this? So we know that the, the reality, the shocking reality, uh, is that some of these bacteria can travel thousands of miles through the air. Some bacteria can really go a long distance. And if the MCR gene jumps into another cell, well, it can really go even further. And worst case scenario, this could really spread around the world, right? It could mean tremendous amount of deaths because not only, you know, some places in the world, they, they, they're having trouble fighting in infections that just are responsive to antibiotics regular antibiotics and then now if you have a resistant bug what's going to happen so really quite quite concerning that's why i want you guys to know about this <clears throat> the mcr9 gene or the jumping gene so who's at highest risk folks with compromised immune systems so weakened immune systems are most vulnerable with cancer patients who are getting chemotherapy or people who are getting um for example Im immune medicine uh for autoimmune disease for example and they could be also at risk. HIV patients uh, also are, 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 are types of patients that could be at risk. So really, we've got to re think of what we need to do. It's not all doom and gloom. What can we do? What's the positive news? Antibiotic resistance is extremely critical all around the world. The CDC says that every year the U.S. antibiotic resistance bacteria infects 2 million people. Isn't that amazing? And then... 23,000 people actually die with this, no joke. So you got 23,000 people that actually can, can pass away from it. The numbers can certainly right, increase significantly if we, we don't control this. And the MCR9, the good thing is that the MCR9 is the medical base. Now the health professionals can recognize the gene when, when treatment fails and then if an infected person is is isolated, meaning that they, they recognize they can be isolated and, and, and special procedures you can have to minimize the spread of the infection. So, you know, when this kind of stuff happens, lots of people roll up their sleeves and say, what can we do and find new ways to treat dangerous bugs? 
and 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 to me the biggest the biggest the biggest lesson is that what can we we have to stop using antibiotics willy nilly. We have to stop asking the doctor for getting antibiotics when really there's no need, right? When there's really not a need to get antibiotics. People think, well, you got a viral infection, take antibiotics. And us as providers, doctors, practitioners, we need to give less antibiotics. Listen, when it's appropriate, absolutely. But it's not appropriate, we got to make sure that we do not just dole these things out like there's like there's no other alternative because this is what's happening is that we now have the spread of these resistant bugs. We also want to know, don't take other people's antibiotics, finish the antibiotics you're given, right? And so I'm hopeful that something like this really spurs the innovativeness of scientists and really people much smarter than me who say, you know what, let's see what we can do to fight these bugs. So again, for those of you who joined later, the scientists have identified this jumping superbug gene called the MCR9, and they've been shown resistance to, to colistin. And colistin is often a last resort antibiotics to fight infections. So we got to really roll up our sleeves and say, what can we do? And the news is not all bad. But we need to do what's right, not use antibiotics indiscriminately, right? As, as practitioners, people like me have to stop giving antibiotics like it's going out of style, right? As, and as patients, right, as patients, we need to make sure we take the right antibiotics, not take other people's antibiotics, not ask our doctors and providers for more stuff. So right now, antibiotic resistance bacteria infects roughly 2 million folks and kills 23,000 people. So it's really an important topic. So stay tuned as we know more about the superbug uh, gene. We'll let you we'll let you know more and we can we can give you more tips to be able to help you. And remember, it all starts with being a health hero. It starts really becoming your own advocate. That's why I do these lives. I want people to have the solutions, right? They need Many folks may not even hear this to, um, unless we talk about it. That's why it's important to me to pass this information on to you. Why, why are we doing this? And what can we do to fight this? So I really appreciate you guys uh, tuning in on this live. And remember, make healthy living a part of every day. Namaste. And I'll see you real soon. Take care now. Thank you. Mm -hmm.